Well, if you're finding it more challenging than ever to juggle the demands of your job and the rest of your life, you're not alone. Many put in extra hours even when they aren't at work. And our next guest says instead of trying to balance them both, we should strive for a work-life blend. Karen Kodzik from Cultivating Careers is here to explain. We've all heard that we need to balance everything. Your yes. study of uh, career builders here in the Twin Cities, that's not the case. We can't right. quite make it all work yeah, you that know way. What I found interesting is, you know, I talked to 32 high, high potential professionals in the Twin Cities, mm -hmm. and there were some themes that really contributed to their success. And one of them was this whole concept of figuring out work-life blend. Mm -hmm. So it's a blend. It's, it's a not blend. a balance. It's not a balance. And that's the big difference. It is a big difference. Well, let's talk about some of the strategies that you have found that they're working for folks. You say one, envision a life where career and life are intertwined. It is. It's really about um, integrating. And it's a whole other way of thinking about our, our life and the time and the energy we put into it. Anytime there's balance, we have to choose. Mm -hmm. And that's where we get conflicted. Mm -hmm. And that's also when things get, we feel guilty because we have to choose one or another. Mm -hmm. Blending is really that intertwining and inter integrating um, both our careers and our, and our lives. Mm -hmm. You say number two, stop compartmentalizing, which is, I think, a lot of us want to do here at Channel 11. We've got this, 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 this. <laughs> That's, right. That's right. You know, when we compartmentalize, mm -hmm. it's, you know, our work life is nine to five-ish, mm -hmm. and our, our after um, work hours are in this category, and that means family has to fit into there. And as soon as we have those boxes, mm -hmm. it, it's constraining. Mm -hmm. And again, it forces us into a choice. And when they bleed into one another, then, then it feels stressful. Mm -hmm. Okay, I agree, I agree. <laughs> Number three, you say don't overcommit. Right, <laughs> right. I, you know, I truly believe, and I think studies support this, that we can't do it all. Mm -hmm. We can't do it all, we can't have it all. So that really means sometimes we have to say no. It's coming out more in my mouth these days, isn't it? Then you say maximize efficiency. I guess we all want to try and work better, not harder. Right, exactly. And that means remove some of the superfluous things in our lives. There's a lot of things that we do that really waste time. Mm -hmm. Whether like it's dishwashing, like for example. Dishwashing. <laughs> you know, and surfing endlessly or mindlessly mm -hmm. on the internet. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, all the things when we really look at are really a waste of time. Mm -hmm. um, I also recommend that people use resources. Mm -hmm. It's okay to use resources that will help us direct our time and energy towards the things that are really high, um, high priority in our lives. Excellent, I think. And then you say focus on what matters. That's your final point here. Yes, you know, and that really starts with understanding what are your priorities and mm -hmm. how do those align with your values? And that's where your time and energy should go. And it, it's not about is it a work thing or a family thing. Mm -hmm. Priorities are priorities, and once yours are set, mm -hmm. it will really help it's, blend them it's together. How important thing? Yeah, that's right. All right, that's thank right. you, Karen, for joining us. We really appreciate. It. We've got Karen's tips on creating a work-life blend <laughs> on care11.com, along with a link to cultivating careers. Just click on the 4 p.m. homepage. Pat. Yeah, I like that idea. Blend it. Don't balance it, Di. It's a good idea.